Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day. So last week the mirror for the loft came in. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the photos, you've seen the dancing, you've seen everything. In today's video, what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the delivery. The pieces look extremely dainty, okay? But as dainty as everything looks, these things weigh a lot. And I do mean a lot. So the guys, they struggle when they're trying to get this stuff in the house. But then when I take pictures on Instagram, everything looks very soft, very feather, lightweight. It's not going. But I'm really, really excited. I have been eyeing this mirror for about two years. And um, I wasn't sure if, it, if I was going to be able to place it in this house because I, I didn't have a wall that was like really large. And then as I started kind of going into my closet and coming out my closet, I was like, ooh, it'd be nice to have um, a mirror right across the window. That way some more light will reflect into the room. It would also elongate the ceiling and make it look as though it's like flowing even further, which it has done that. So I'm really, really happy. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the mirror is from Bassett. I will be leaving a link in the description box down below. That way if you guys are interested, you can have that. The sectional is from Bernhardt. The rug is from Home Goods. My credenza still isn't in. I should have it. If not this week, maybe sometime next week. And I'll be updating you guys when that piece come in. But I am so, so excited. My bed is going to be a little bit late. I just got the email saying that upholstery is taking a little bit longer than normal, which, you know, considering it's COVID still, I get that. And then my bar stools should be here um, next month. So I'm really, really happy. Although certain things, you know, eh, you know, other um, things in the house are definitely working. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the mirror. All right, you guys, this is like so exciting. I did not record this piece coming in, but it's recorded for um, um, Instagram, but sorry, I'm out of breath, because I was running, but you guys, look at the mirror. And it took, what, 60 days, two months? So it's here, I love it. It's about eight and a half, I think it's about eight and a half feet tall. But, um, oh gosh, you guys, I love it. Um, I think now you guys can kind of see there's that blue tape above. I did the measurement to see how big it was going to be and I'm like, ah! So, let me just share this really quickly. I'm going to stop being annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. Okay. Who's that? Okay. <clears throat> this is where having a mirror truly does what it's supposed to do. First, you can see the ceiling, so it kind of extends it out. It also opens up the room. It's reflecting the light, so you guys can see. It's so amazing. My biggest worry with this mirror was the mirror in my bedroom. But it doesn't really clash or anything like that. So it's not a big deal. You can't see it. I'm probably going to leave my closet door closed because I am. And I did start ordering. Um, I did start ordering new hardware for the doors and my doors are gonna have locks on them not everyone i think um my bedroom and my closet are they're gonna have locks so i already started changing i really do love it y'all it's just like a whole situation the white is super clean again performance fabric the pillows like all the colors we have really been in here watching movies, laying down, lounging, dancing, just having a really good time. And that's what I want. Like I want the house to look good, but again, I want it to be able to be user friendly. So the keyword here is user friendly. I just love it, y'all. Like, ugh. It's such a situation. A grown woman situation. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and wipe the mirror down so you guys can get the whole like experience. Was it heavy? Girl, yes, yeah, that man was grunting. <laughs> he was like, ugh. But I like that nobody else really had that. Nobody else has that. No. Everybody has that doggone anthro thing. That's what someone commented to me on Instagram. They were like, how do you find these things? Because everybody on social media is either restoration, 
And but you know what? If you're modern, you're gonna shop at a particular store. Yeah. I just tend to shop everywhere. Right. I don't really say I can't shop somewhere. I try to implement a little bit of everything, but right. I do think there comes a point where I just don't want my house to look like everybody else's house. Yeah. Which means I'm gonna. Cutter. Yeah. But see, I go to Bassett. Let me just say this, y'all. I go to Bassett Furniture. I go to Haverty's. Um, I go to American Signature. I go to Ashley. I go to Uttermost. I have some private vendors. I have some trade um, accounts. So I really go everywhere. So that way, for myself, for my clients, when you're looking for something, it's not going to be like super hella unique. Because even on the high end market of home decor, someone has it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, don't be offended when I say this. And I hope no one feel offended when I say this. I truly believe when it comes to YouTube, and it's not like I'm doing the most or whatever. Like, I, I like what I like, so I do what I do. But I think when it comes to YouTube, people are sharing design styles in a more affordable manner. Instead of actually like doing the actual design style, it does get expensive, it does get pricey. I'm not gonna say don't, it does. But when you're sitting there trying to do a dupe for everything, and a this and a this and a this and that, there are other dupes now, don't get me wrong. But if everybody's doing everything and everybody's seeing, the truth is, whatever video is doing good is what everybody's gonna do. Mm -hmm. And everybody ends up with very similar things. Similar pieces, and before you know, before long, when you see a thumbnail, you don't know who who's who. If you take the picture of the person off the thumbnail, it's the same. It's the same. You don't know who houses what, and it ends up looking the same. I know for a fact. Next year, everyone's gonna be on a totally different train. Everybody's house is gonna change. My house is gonna say the same. But don't worry, don't worry. I got y'all. It's gonna say the same. But everybody is gonna be like, oh, don't have your house look like a. Magazine. At first it was have your house look like a magazine. Oh. Now everyone is saying don't have your house look like a magazine. So for me, I, I honestly have to follow my heart and my spirit. It makes me happy and hopefully y'all like it. And that's that. <laughs> if you don't, you know it is what it is. I don't, I'm not hurt, hurt by it at all. It's fine. But when I sit here and I'm waiting two, three months for these deliveries, I need to know what's going to stay. The only way this thing is going to come out of here is if my kids break it, God forbid. <laughs> like, I'm really worried about this mirror. I mean, I'm really, <laughs> if I didn't show concern, I'm concerned about this mirror and my babies. Because they like to wrestle, okay? Not wrestle, they wrestle, okay? They like to run them up. They like to do all that. Kev, can you bring me the ladder or the stepping stool one? But they like to wrestle and all of that. And I'm really fearful that they're going to throw a ball to this thing. They going to roll and hit this thing. So I'm, yeah, uh, uh, the stepping stool or the ladder. All right, thanks. So I'm going to have to have a real heart to heart. I'm going to choke out you if y'all break my stuff conversation with them. Like, please. Y'all can bust the walls. You can even pour stuff on the furniture. Don't break this mirror. Because I ordered the mirror and the lady got back to me. How long was it? Like a weekend? Yeah. And she was like, oh, we we, we um, placed too many orders. You have to wait. And I'm like, you, you know, um, this was what, November? December. It was like mid-December. Mid-December. So, she called me two that. weeks after the fact to say, they have placed too many orders and the mirror was now in back order. Two weeks. You know what I could have been doing in two weeks? So, huh, that's why I said, I don't, if it's on back order, that means people are buying it, people are using it. I just don't see it, because nine times out of 10, their homes aren't being posted on Instagram. I went on Bass's website and I seen a couple of homes, but it was only two that I saw, and they weren't even like a huge account or anything like that. And I don't even think they're considered, um, I think they were just your everyday people. But people are buying the mirror. I will leave a link for the mirror down below. 
I will not feel hurt if y'all buy it, if you want it or whatever. I am here to show y'all that there are other options out here. If you were to take this one thing and put it in a different space, you could use it for modern. You could use it for traditional. You could use it for contemporary, which is why I say what I say. And I do have a video coming out, you guys, with the design style because <laughs> you guys was like, what is transitional? What is that? Oh, y'all, this looks so good. Oh, my God. I still got to clean it. It's leaving a little bit of lint. I like, I like my blue uh, napkin. It's still leaving some lint on the mirror, but it's pretty, though. It's clean. Definitely selfie worthy now. It's so nice. And I don't even think this is metal. Really? No, I think it's something. Hmm. It almost looks like a... Like a thick acrylic? Matter of fact, it could be one that's just been stained and yeah. shined and all that. Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't... It doesn't even feel like metal. It's heavy, though. I tell you, that, that man was like, that's a mirror? <laughs> I don't even need it. Yeah, I don't even think I, I see the mirror this day. Ooh, listen. This shot right here, that's the money. That's the money shot. Huh? That's the money. Like, this shot? Where the money was at? This where the money was at. You want this thing, this where the money was at. to put around it because this wall was right. so big it's not big enough so i'm happy but you know what it, it's trial and error because i remember i was definitely questioning myself like should i put it there should i should i should i should i and what i did is i actually sat against the wall and i was live and i said just imagine if my sofa was here and i'm sitting on the sofa and i have the mirror here like what that would look like and some people said, mm, I don't think so. That's kind of weird. And then some people were like, I think it's going to work. Which is why, even though if I say, you know, what do you guys think? Should I do? Should I? In my mind, I already know what I want to do anyway. It's just a way to engage to be like 100% honest. But like, I know what I want. And it actually ended up working out pretty good. Oh my God, Rachel. Mm -hmm. This is it. Like, this is that money it, shot. Look, it makes you want to get dressed up and take a selfie. Like, this is the money shot. I just love it so much. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> That's That, it really is, it's a really warm spot in my heart. Yeah. Because it's not too much, you know. It just looks so good. I just hope the boys don't break so it. So look, now you're motivated to tap that guy. Oh, no, nah, listen, <laughs> that DIY wall may never get done. I'm going to do it, though, but just thinking about doing it makes my stomach hurt. But I do want to finish it. Yeah. But I think I think what's going to motivate me is when this wall gets done and gets painted, then it's like, Nadia, go ahead and get that wall done. Yeah. I like it. The room feels so light, you guys. I don't mean in color. I mean, like, it feels light, like a feather falling out of a window. Oh, you guys, you 
guys, you guys, it looks so good. So the next thing that I'm waiting for is for the credenza, y'all. That is the last piece of home decor in this room. Once that piece comes in, I'm pretty much done. This TV right here is the LG OLED. Super, super amazing quality. Super, super amazing sound. Great picture. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, really, really nice. The funny thing about it is I'm not really a big fan of TVs. I'm sure by now you guys have figured that part out. When I was doing this collaboration, I really was even trying to get like a 55. But they only had two options, which was the 65 and the 72, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was. 72 or I think it was 72. I think so. And I was like, oh man, okay, well, I do want a TV in here. How big is it going to be? And I honestly thought the 72 was going to be like too big. But considering how the 65 looks, I feel like I could have still done um, the 72 because the actual credenza that's going underneath here, I want to say it's like 84. So the 72 would have still worked. It probably would have given me the 60. I would have done a bigger TV. So if you are in the market for a TV and you're looking at the LG OLED, go big, baby. Go big. Just, just go and go big. It's much better. Not that this one's not good. I love it. I'm just saying, we're, we're really in here, and uh, I'm not a TV person, again, but the boys, they want to do movie night, and um, I've, what's that movie we was watching the other night, you remember, fairy? huh? Fairy something, was it fairy? It's a show, you guys, like some fairy something that my son got me watching, he has me watching anime, oh god, he's gonna kill me, I think it's anime. called, is it anime? Yes. Girl, I made a mistake and said Chinese cartoons. And it's not. It's animation. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. My bad. But, yeah, if you're in the market for a TV, I would say to do the 75 or the 72. I can't remember which one it is, but it, it looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick overview. Things still aren't 100% done. Like I said, I got to do the credenza. I still want to get a nice throw. Right now, the Hermes throw is there. The kids honestly have not touched it. So I'm going to leave it there. The minute I see them get too cozy with it, I will move it. But for right now, they're pretty good. So here's the... Okay, so here's the pillows. Okay, going up. Okay, and then the gorgeous mirror. You see the hallway. If I didn't mention this hallway right here, I'm actually going to have drapery panels from here and go all the way down I didn't tell you guys that before because I wanted it to be a surprise but since we're so close to getting things installed I figured why not and then the TV and of course that credenza is going to go down there but I really love this a lot absolutely beautiful so you guys that is it I love the mirror so much the mirror sits I think it's like 86 high I think in the video I said 8 feet it's not 8 feet I know some people said it looks very similar to the restoration or the one from somewhere else. It's, it doesn't have all of the trimmings to make it like an ornate mirror. I just thought over time in terms of a kind of transitioning throughout different design styles, I'll be able to have it um, remain in that space a lot longer without feeling like I have to get rid of it once something kind of phases out. On top of that, it complements the arch kind of coming into the loft really, really nicely. Again, I, I added a lot of architectural details into the room, and I think now that the furniture is coming together and decor is going on the wall and all of that, you guys are getting to see everything kind of play really well together, which is what I love so much. Um, let me just say, this is what I would consider, my personal opinion, a really great way of implementing um a mirror into a space anytime i put a mirror somewhere it's going to be something that is going to be useful to the space if it's not in terms of the overall aesthetic i can use it to kind of get ready it's going to be a reflectant and um then it's going to be pretty i think about when it comes to mirrors i think about pretty as being the last thing on the list that I wanted to do um but that's pretty much it I hope you guys love the loft I feel like it's coming together so so well but I will see you guys in the next one bye